first speaker will be Nadine Culberson. Welcome. Nadine, see if a green light's on there. My name is Nadine Culberson, and I live at 25414 Watauga Road, Abingdon, Virginia, 24211. Last week, I received a telephone call from a Washington County citizen concerning, they're, they're expressing their concern over our E911 or dispatch center that they can't use any medical directions or given medical instructions over the phone. They can dispatch a, an ambulance, but that's about all they can do. I was shocked because the medical dispatching system has been online for over two years, and the instructions that they give include CPR, directions to control serious bleeding, instructions for assisting with difficulty breathing, and dealing with allergic reactions. I called dispatch and to, to ask if it was online and was told it was not, that the system's medical dispatching system was shut down at noon on Monday, August the 3rd, 2015, because it no longer had an operational medical director or an OMD. This position is required by any public safety answering point, which is our dispatch center, to use medical dispatch. Uh, the OMD is an emergency physician, has to be currently licensed to practice medicine in the Commonwealth, and has to be formally recognized and responsible for the medical direction, oversight, and quality of improvement to our EMS systems. The EMD process, or the medical, medical dispatch process, is used by the call takers to take in the information from the calls to 911, who it is, where they are, the, the information that they need to dispatch the proper resources to them. Um, and they're also another part of emergency dispatching is to be able to give them instructions until the ambulance arrives. Um, back in December, December 16, 2014, the board had a workshop on emergency medical dispatching. Um, I did go back and rewatch that video and took some notes. Dr. McLeod was the doctor that was serving as OMD, and she addressed the board about the program. The questions that followed were controversial at times, and I took away the, the following points. One was that some board members wanted to make the point that the decisions concerning the EMD were the board's responsibility and, and authority, under their authority. Two, concern was expressed that the system required advanced life support, or ALS techs, to, de to be dispatched on calls which may have been handled, could have maybe been handled by an enhanced emergency technician. Three, agencies without an ALS tech lose money because they're not able to file insurance against uh, calls that were classified as ALS. And four, the entire board did not agree that the operational medical director has the final call in deciding whether an ALS needs to be provided, uh, dispatched. It's my understanding that Washington County is having a problem recruiting another OMD. Two have left, my research has shown that two have left the position after a short amount of time, and one who was considering it declined before the contract could be signed. I believe the backlash from the workshop has made potential physicians shy away from taking the position due to political firestorm. The OMD for Washington County handles a great responsibility and they're paid nothing. They don't even get a dime for what they, what they have. They are practicing full-time positions, and the last thing, physicians, and the last thing they need is for politicians to try to change the protocol to meet the needs of this board or an EMS agency. You're absolutely correct that the responsibility and the authorization is this board. However, I don't think that your authority and responsibility reach all the way into the protocols um, used for emergency dispatching. The res responsibility also means that you have to own the consequences of your behavior, and the consequences of this decision or non-decision is deadly. Um, a, you know, a, a parent who has a child that's not breathing, or someone who's beside a loved one who's non-responsive and has a heart condition, needs more than just somebody to send an ambulance. They need to know what they can do in the meantime while they're there. And this, you know, you can point fingers or place blame on whoever you want to. Personally, I think all of you need to look in the mirror because the situation that we're in right now, over 50,000 Washington County citizens have been without uh, medical dispatching for over a week. And I just don't think that's appropriate. I don't think that's, it's not even understandable. Everyone who's worked with the EMD program knows that some ALS calls could actually be handled by enhanced EMT. But we've not had an OMT on board, an OMD on board, long enough for them to be able to review the 
protocols and change them. So one solution would be to back away from trying to influence the OMD and let them make the changes to the protocol based on their own professional <coughs> opinion. Another solution would be to fund more ALS positions in the agencies. If if agencies had the ALS positions there, the problem would go away because if they would have the people on board that would be on the ambulance that they could, sorry, can I do a last paragraph? Very quickly. Very quickly. Thank you. Um, I believe that the board needs to make the decision on this as a whole and they need to address the issue right away. Um, OMDs need to be need to be assured that they will not be badgered by individual board members and telling them what to do. And I can't help but compare it with national health reform. Uh, it gives a lot of us heartburn to think that the federal government can tell us how they're going to make medical decisions for us. And personally, I don't think if the majority of citizens of Washington County knew what was going on right now, they would want the Board of Supervisors to make medical decisions for them either. <coughs> Thank you for your comment.